Welcome to House of Tech English. In this particular video, we are going to see that how can we transfer data from iPhone to our Mac. So without wasting any time, we are going to start this video. But if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's start the video. Now, in order to transfer data from your iPhone to your Mac, all you need is a data cable. So currently over here, you can see I have a type A to lightning cable. If you are using an iPhone which has a type C port, then you can also use type C to type C cable, uh, which usually you get in the box. Now, as I'm using type A cable over here, so I'm uh, using an adapter over here, as you can see. So this is the adapter which I'm using. So my MacBook Air has type C port and it doesn't have USB port. So I'm using this adapter which has uh, type C to USB port. So if you are also using a Mac which has type C port and not, uh, you know, USB port, then you can use this kind of adapter. Now let's connect this cable to Mac and iPhone to transfer the data. So I have connected type A port to my Mac and let's connect this lightning port to iPhone. Now, once you connect the cable to iPhone, you will get a pop-up screen like this, trust this computer. So make sure you select trust option. And if you're getting a pop-up screen on your Mac, it will ask you the permission to allow device to connect. So you just have to allow it on your Mac. And once you allow it on your Mac, don't forget to select trust option over here. Now on your iPhone, it will ask you to enter passcode so that you can start transferring data. So after entering passcode, all you need to do is make sure you go in finder option. And once you go in finder, you can scroll down and under location, you can find your iPhone over here, right? Now let's start transferring the data from iPhone to Mac. So let's go to dock. Once you go in dock, you can search for launchpad or else you, uh, if you don't find launchpad in dock, you can press command plus space bar and spotlight search will be activated. Over here, you can search for launchpad. Once you see launchpad, press enter and in search bar, type image and you will find image capture. So select this particular option. Now, once you select image capture, uh, it will showcase your iPhone over here. So we have connected the iPhone, which is why it is displaying the iPhone over here. Select the device and on the right hand side, you can see it will show all the images and videos which are over there. Now, if you want to transfer data, you have download all option directly over here. So all the videos and uh, photos which are in your iPhone will be transferred to your Mac. But where you want to transfer it, make sure in import to you select that particular folder now it is currently selected to pictures so let's select this drop down you can choose whichever folder you want so i'm going to select desktop for now now this is one image as you can see this is a headphone image so let's say if i want to download only single image i'm going to select that particular image and over here download option will be activated but earlier if you are not selecting any of the image or video this option uh, won't be enabled. So make sure you select the image or video which you want to download. And after selecting it, select download option. And now you can see we have successfully transferred one particular image from iPhone to Mac. Now there is a video over here. So let's say if you want to, uh, you know, add video from your iPhone to your Mac, then just simply select the video, select download option. And then you can see even video is transferred from iphone to mac now let's say if you want to transfer multiple files from your iphone to your mac but you don't want to download all the files then how can you select that files so first of all a uh, single tap on one particular file after that press command on your keyboard and then select the files which you want to download so you can see i am selecting uh, files and i am skipping some of the files so i have selected one two three and four files at the same time I'm going to press download over here. Now you can see all the selected photos and videos are downloaded. So I can check all the photos over here. I can check all the videos which I have downloaded. So yeah, this is how simple it is to transfer data from your iPhone to your Mac. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.